third part of Oscar with active shooter would be, unfortunately, you now have a crime scene that you have to process. And the response has, has uh, happened. The active shooter is either in custody or he's dead. And you now have a massive crime scene to process. And we all know what Oscar's strengths are for processing the crime scene. But independent of that imagery being used for prosecution, if you have a suspect who's in custody, um, you can now use those photos to maybe train. Uh, you can kind of uh, learn what went well, what could have gone better uh, from your response. You have more imagery, maybe up-to-date imagery now of buildings that are within your area of responsibility that you now have um, you know, the latest images from them for planning for, unfortunately, the next event. And then the other side of it is, from a prosecutorial point of view, if you have a live suspect who's in custody, having before imagery for how this building looked and comparing it with really what the suspect did gives the jury a real clear understanding of how much destruction, how much devastation was caused by this person. Maybe helps them come to a proper decision uh, at trial. <laughs>